Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to Transport Fever. First of all, thank you for all the comments about this station. Seems like most of you guys liked it as well. As much as I did. As much as I do, I think. <laughs> it, it does look epic, doesn't it? And sorry still about my voice, still not A-OK. -okay. Just checking the speed of that EGV. Because I remember someone commented that there was a slow area in the TGV track. Although I've been reviewing it, it's this one. And don't really see the slow portion, like everything is 300. Except on this part, where we have no choice but to slow down because of that curve there. But then it's slowing down anyway because it's going to stop there at that station, so I don't think that's a problem. Anyway, in this episode, we'll be focusing on creating the second food line, which is over there. And most of you guys commented that you want the train over here, not a simple truck route. Fine, fine. You want the challenge? Let's do it. So if that's the case, then we don't need this. And um, we can clean that out. And uh, the one here, where is it? The food processing plant here, I had this station over here just because it's closer to the farm. But, but if we're be, we'll be using a train for that leg, then it makes sense to create the station over on this side, doesn't it? Should be probably this one, yeah, same thing. So if I try to go as far as I can, that should work like that. And that one doesn't like carve the whole mountain, carve the whole hill. That one just looks perfect. So let's take that one and just align it a bit. There. You are in range, yes. And what are you complaining about? Oh, this is the first time. What's up with you? Wait a minute. Ah, yeah. Okay. This is up north, if you remember. This is our fuel line up north and it looks like uh, we do have a bottleneck here. Truck Shoreham. Alright, so it seems like which one is having the problem. Try to ship more items. Okay. So it looks like, okay, the, the potential for fuel just zeroed out. Probably because of this. Actually, both of them probably. Yeah, so let's add more uh, tankers in here. Let's add maybe, I don't know, four more. And I did add a couple of truck mods. If you look at that, 40 ton trucks with beautiful paint jobs, not just plain white. This looks awesome. These are all Scania, I think. I got it from the Steam Workshop, so go and check out the collection. There should be a link in the description below for the entire Steam collection. All of the mods I'm using are there except for the DMA mods. The DMA mods are not available in the Steam Workshop anymore. But I also have a note there where you can download it. Anyway, okay, so I would want to try that out but it doesn't quite fit here. We would need a tanker in here. So let's go and take that guy. I think this is a Scania, right? Yes, Scania R480 tanker. That one. Let's get one, two, three, four, and uh, assign you to that one there. What the heck is line one? What the heck is this? I'm being the north. There's no such thing. Let's move that. Okay. Hmm. We were so rudely interrupted there. And if you remember this, guys, like the experiment train. We're actually almost earning here, just 1 million at loss because there's so much demand. So maybe, maybe, maybe eventually we'll break even <laughs> with the, the most impractical train ever. If you don't know what that was, how we came up with that, go and check out the playlist. There should be an episode there named Longest Train Ever or something like that. That's when we created it. Anyway, enough of the intermission. We, let's start with this one. Um, one sec. Did I not have a line here already, the, the yellow line? So did, does that mean that got destroyed? Livestock North. Is it this one? Or was that the line one earlier that we deleted? 
Hmm. Wait a minute. All right. So, livestock north. We don't really need that anymore because we'll be using a train for this. So instead, let's say this is the truck food north, and let's add a stop from there near the processing plant to this beautiful cargo station. Right. Okay. So what this does from the processing plant, it takes the food goes through that bridge crosses over these train these tracks and then st stops here drops the food over here yeah and then goes back now you guys told me and thanks for the comments we can actually avoid looping around the entire thing like that if we somehow manage to make a u-turn somewhere here now how can we manage that i have no clue medium street maybe something like that Hmm. Okay, that works. <laughs> I'm happy with that. That actually works. Let's make it even Steven with this one. And we didn't destroy anything. Will you look at that. So, there we go. Actually, the, even the other line is using it now as a loop. So, in that way, we sort of avoid the traffic. So the trucks sort of go from here, they stop, they drop off food, they turn around, make a U-turn, a beautiful U-turn, and then go back to the processing plant. Now the only conflict here that I'm seeing is the trucks that are going here will get a bit hindered by the trucks crossing. So there will be a, a delay in that point. It's not going to be the most optimized thing. But for now, I guess let's keep it and then let's optimize it later. Let's make it better later, right? So now we have that one. We can actually add train. We can actually add trucks there, but later, later. First, we go with the farm. And how do we do this? Um, a lot of you are okay with the tunneling. Some of you said make a bridge. Not really sure how we can make a bridge, though. Because the only station I have here, we, can, we need a freight station here. So I cannot use any of my elevated stations. I can use something like this, a concrete flying junction. This is one of the mods that you guys recommended me. And it's beautiful for making crossings on different tracks. Like you can have different crossing angles. Yeah, make it sharper. Yeah, you see the, the, the track at the bottom and the top. They're uh, much more perpendicular. This one, they're more parallel, parallel, yeah? And then you can fine-tune that. So for example, 30 degrees and then plus 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can fine-tune it until you get your perfect angle. And then I think we can actually curve it as well. Yeah, it's curving as well. The lower track is curving. I'm not sure how we can use this though because we only have one track here. Unless this is something to force the to force a bridge from being made, but if we look at the contours, even though we make a bridge, it's going to be a very slow train. Imagine that slope, just climbing that, a train carrying uh, I don't know how many tons of cows and chickens and all the livestock in the world. So I don't think that will be a feasible idea. So I say. Let's push through with the, the tunnel here. Right? Let's make the station here first, the destination. That would be easier. So a freight station, we can go and do it a dead end like that. But I think I'd rather do it something like this. So in the future, we have a choice to extend it. And instead of delivering by trucks, we can make it a train. That would be quite messy though. We'll have to remake a couple of things. But let's open the option at least. Yeah. So we can connect it like so. Hmm. 437k. That seems parallel enough. Curvature, do we need to curve it? I don't think we do. Oh, negative one. Actually, that might work. That might actually work. Yeah. That does look 
a lot cooler as well. Okay, let's let's have that. Let's have that. Bam. Okay. So this is in range of the truck. This is in range of the processing plant. Okay, perfect. Alright, so how do we do this? Um, we have two tracks here. We only need to use one. So maybe let's use this other one here. Um, let's make the terminal first, the train station first on this side, and then let's connect. Let's see if we can just easily just drag from start to finish. And let me upgrade this because it just looks ugly like this. There we go. So I want the train station to be something like this, 320 meters, so we can have the maximum length. Whoa. We can have a curved train station. That actually looks beautiful. Look at that. It curves perfectly with the road. That's amazing. I think I'll keep that. Because we can have it straight like this. But you know, it's not as uh, visually pleasing as that one. This might be slower because there's a curvature, but... Wait a minute though. Although if I curve it like that, our destination is over there. So it doesn't really make sense to curve it, unfortunately. Uh, this should be the overall direction. I'm trying to trace it like that. So maybe we can curve the other way then. Something like this. And, uh, hmm, yeah, do something like this, and then that will go straight there. That looks good. Okay, let's have it. How do we do this? Let me zoom in. Um, probably something like so. Just one track is okay, 320 meters. Let's connect that via small country road like this. Now you're connected, perfect. And now, the question is, can we do it? Just one drag. Previously, it cost around 21 million, I think. Today, how much will it cost? Well, just 31 million, spare change. <laughs> okay, that works. That is a tunnel through and through, literally. Like after it leaves, right after it leaves the station, it's a tunnel. And then it doesn't go out until the end, until it reaches this point. Look at that. But it's beautiful. Look at the speed. 300. Even though we'll never reach that. That means in terms of um, track, there is no hindrance at all. It will be 33 million, but what the heck. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Look at that. Look at how much that actually punched through. I would love to go first person there. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at that. Yeah, it's just like at the bedrock. You can see Mordor from there. Mordor. <laughs> okay, I I'm happy with that. Now the question probably is, how the heck do we make this double track then? Or maybe we don't need it. Maybe we assume it's just one train then. Wait a minute. Let me let me just try. Maybe we can do something. Like if I branch off over here. Then I drag this all over. Hmm. Can you stick there please? Okay, it doesn't stick anymore. I think I'll have to do it little by little. Unfortunately. 188. No, 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 no. Cannot do that. Although, yeah, it doesn't really matter that much because it's... Uh, the trains that we will be using can actually only go up to 120. And why 120? Why not 160? I'll show you in a bit. And I'm choosing it over... How do you say it? Form over function? Yeah. Beauty over optimization. Wow, 6 million extending this track. And then the other problem here would be how the heck would we put signals? Because as you know, putting signals in these uh, tunnels is really a pain. Look at that, it actually goes under. What, what is this? This coal mine. You can probably see some coal from here. You can probably go through the, some miners just getting coal. Okay, there we go. 
Uh huh. And then let's say we branch off from here. We try to smoothen it out. 200 is good enough, actually. Yeah, 200 is good enough. Let's go with that. And then just connect this all the way through until the other side, which is over there. There, 2.97M. Not even sure how much we we spent there. Actually, I can continue the game, can't I? I'm not really affecting any other existing line. Yeah, that should be good enough. All right, so we can start earning back what we lost. I, I don't think the numbers actually reflected any loss though, because we're talking about billions here already. And we're just earning so much. All right, that's a beautiful line right there. Completely under the underground. Oh, man, yeah, th this is gonna be problematic though. The merge is somewhere, I'm assuming, I can still vaguely see the tracks from here. And from here, I think, is... Where are they actually parallel? I'm not sure if what I'm seeing is the mountain or the track. That's a problem. I think we have to go like this. <laughs> okay, I, I will, I'll be guessing here, guys, alright? I'll say that one's the merge. And then in here, on the other side... I would say, oh man, this is the merge. It might not be the the closest thing, but it should be more than enough, right? And then let's give it a bit of a distance around this point, maybe two signals, one on each side. Hopefully, we can put that in. Oh crap! I can't even see the signal anymore. I have no clue if that's working. No, that's that's not. Look at that. Good thing is you can actually play signals even from this side. That one's wrong though. So maybe we can just... There. There, okay. That one's correct. The middle one's wrong. There we go. That, that should work theoretically. Okay, and then let's have one more signal in here. One more set. Okay, and then, no, 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 it has to be from this angle, I think, there we go, yep, so we delete the one in the middle, thank you, ideally, that should work, if it really does, I have no clue, so let's add, uh, oh, come on, intermission again, let's see, what are you? MANTGS all cargo. Let's make this quick. MANTGS all cargo is way below, I think, that one. Yep. Good. See ya. Alright. So, where was I? I was going to put in the stops from the farm to the processing plant. There we go. Let's color it um, orange. Does it use both lines? That's the problem. We can't see squat. <laughs> we'll have to... <laughs> yeah, this is the problem because it, because the only thing we can see is up here when the lines have merged already. So we don't really know what's happening underground. We can't see the lines there if it's utilizing both lines. Ideally, it should because I put some signals already, but... If it really does, who knows? Anyway, okay. Alright, we're good with that. Next stop, put some trains in. Let me put some... Let me just put a bumper... Bumper depot here. There, bumper as depot. It's this one above, right? I think it is. So, question is, what should we put? Um, I do have a favorite loco. So we can still use that. Because we want the strongest one here. We're expecting a full load every single time. So let's say... Uh, Loco-wise, I think it's this one. Was it? Oh, what is this? Wow. There's actually a mod for the freight trains. Stadler Butler. 
attractive effort. It does it, it it's not worth squat though. 150 kilonewtons versus 300. Although if you look at the price, 729k. We can probably try it. Oh, this is much stronger. Got the power there, but the attractive effort isn't much. Maybe we can have a pull and push train, one on each side, because it is it does look very narrow compared to these trains. So ideally, we should be able to put in more wagons. Yeah, let's let's try it. This is electric train, I think. Electric. This is diesel. This is electric. We can confirm that by this one. Yep, electric, diesel. So let's go with electric. That seems to be much stronger. Um, what's the difference there? I guess one of them is the front, one is the back. Question is, how the heck do we say? I, you guys correct me if you're familiar with this, all right? But I, I'll just put this one as the front and this one as the back, like that. Look at that, only 9.1 meters compared with this one. We can should be able to sell that for a full price, I think. 3.77M, yep. So that's 9 meters, this is 20 meters. So half the, um, half the length, actually. Less than half, that's beautiful. All right, and I wanted, what I wanted to try were these guys. So you were recommending that I try different goods wagons. And I download a lot of them. See in the collection for the entire list, but these are the ones. The, I don't know how to pronounce that. Hibbins 306. In different uh, companies, like there's the Deutsche Bahn. There's the, what was it? There was a different one. Forgot what it was. And there's the plain one. So what we can do actually is to maybe pick one of each for now. And then we can just randomize getting one. Because they should have all the same stats. 579k. Now, if... The reason why I said it, it's 120 top speed, because the wagons can only go 120. So, if we're being practical about this, we want it to only be, we want to use this one. Or probably, which one is the one for livestock? Yeah, this one. Which can go 160, the default wagon, but he want it to look cool as well. So, let's take this instead. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then let's put another loco at the back. Even though we probably don't need it. Just so it looks cool. <laughs> Alright. Let's set that to... Hey, I should have a line here. There, line 1. Let's name that train, uh, train Livestock North. And I did a boo-boo. No, 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 no. You guys go back to the depot. Send to depot. There you go. Okay. Because. How do you say it? Do you have to do it manually? Uh, I, ha I had to do it before I bought the wagons. I want these guys to only carry livestock. Because otherwise they would also carry grain. And that will just make things complicated. You know, some wagons will... Sometimes livestock won't be available, sometimes grain won't be available. In this way, we limit it to only carrying grain, making it much easier for us. Okay, let's have a look how that goes. Well, that looks pretty colorful. And that looks the right direction as well. This looks like the front, yeah, look at that guy. Not too shabby, huh? This might require a photo just to change it up. It looks a bit old school. It does, but then it's a welcome change just to change it up, right? Just to vary it up. Look at all those different wagons. It's beautiful. Oh, look, I even have a logo there. And did you, did you notice that? Like the... How do you say? The connection to the catenaries went down when it docked. When it arrived at the station. So 
So can we probably trace where this guy is going? If we go first person, look at that ugliness. <laughs> okay, it, it's, at least we know it's going the right direction. It's taking this track on the way to the farm. Right? Okay. Um, where is it though? It's going under. <laughs> now, any second now, I'm expecting this to... No, actually not. We have to make trucks here first. Crap. Right, truck depot. I wish there was some more rural look for a truck depot. Maybe there is. Just haven't focused on it too much. Alright, let's maybe add this on next to that one so it looks pretty realistic. Let's smoothen this out. Yeah, and then let's say Hmm, I do want this to be different for each time, but it would be a pain to uh, it would be a pain to replace later on. What is this? Train food hexam. Really? Wow. Okay. Can you just replace yourself? Can I just copy you? Um. No hab. Oh, we've been playing that long. Actually, this is one of the new, quote unquote, new trains that we have, right? For the food line. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's maintain status quo there. It's not really one of our biggest focuses. Okay, let's buy a vehicle. All right, for now, let's uh, pick a DHL and a QPS because those are the brands that I'm familiar with. These guys can go 100 kilometers. Power is 456 kilowatts. Not too shabby. We we'll do that. And then how many trucks do we need actually? Maybe we need around four. Yeah. All right, let's vary it up. Different colors. And one DB Schenker. The fleet has arrived. Oh man, that that engine sound is epic. Oh man, I would drive that. I love the look of these trucks. This looks so cool. Oh man. Alright, perfect, perfect. I like it. Now where's our train? Where the heck is our train? Yeah, we have to turn on the icon because we don't have a clue where it is. Are you carrying something? You are actually interesting. Look at that. Production has begun. Yeah, so there's currently 29 potential. But just that's just because it hasn't detected anything yet. It only detected the, the route to the processing plant, but not really the route to the city and everywhere else. So. I would expect once the trucks here actually once the trucks here arrive and the, a new month starts this should reset and this should reflect uh, accordingly yeah. I want to play Euro truck <laughs> so what do you do now? Okay, squeeze in there. Oh, near miss. I actually want to replace these MAN trucks with these guys because the skins are here. Are top notch, actually. Okay, let's let's watch it go and make a U-turn. There we go. It's actually a pretty interesting slope if you if you're driving there. Nice. But look at this. Matching DHL truck with its trailer. <laughs> we don't. We just don't have FedEx and Maersk. Uh, I saw a Maersk uh, trailer a while ago. Hmm. Not not sure where it is. The DB Schenker skin is actually looking pretty good. Yeah, I like that. There's actually a skin like that for Euro Truck. You can actually drive a truck exactly looking like that. 
beautiful. Okay, so these ones are carrying food. All right, look at that TGV train hype. Nice. What the heck? What the heck is happening here? Wow, so many people. Like, all right, maybe in the next episode we'll um, upgrade the trains in the Circle Line because we do have a lot of different Stadler trains and I got a request try to try out the EC250 I'm not sure does it do you guys think an EC250 fits in the circle line and if you're wondering what the heck an EC250 is don't worry you're not alone I didn't know what it was as well I had to look for it how do we create a train here again I can't remember <laughs> But anyway, this is that one. The EC250, I think, is yeah, it's these ones. The ones that will be released on uh, 2019 and 2022. So, max speed 250, passengers 131. Looks so epic, and I think maybe they'll work in the circle line. Let me, let me know if you agree with there, right? Okay. Let's go and have a look at the processing plant. How much is the demand for food? Um, 105 for real? I don't think so. I I was expecting hundreds, or th actually thousands, like like this guy here. 6,584. Like, if if food is arriving here, then. The trains should be able to take it anywhere else. Like these trains should be able to do that. And why are we losing money on these trains? But no no matter, we'll, we'll fix that pretty soon. Since they're stopping here now, so from Hexam, from the first processing plant, they stop in Abingdon North here. They drop off food for Abingdon. At the same time, they can pick up additional food for the northern cities. Then they drop food accordingly to the northern cities. They go back and then they stop here again to get additional food. And then they bring it back to the processing plant. And then the food here can then in turn be taken by these trains going to Hastings. Remember this? Yeah. And from Hastings, it can go everywhere else. So it should be that the demand of that plant is in the thousands as well. Maybe it just needs more time. 97? <laughs> That's an insult. <laughs> hmm. Let's give it a bit of time. Let's just enjoy the view for now. Has anyone actually carried anything already? 20 out of 60, okay. Once this train starting to get full, we will start adding wagons on it. And if needed, we'll add uh, locos as well. So this will be like a quantity over quality type of loco. It's not the strongest, but we can spam it indefinitely. 28. production is increasing so we should be in a very good place to upgrade pretty soon all right let's see let's see maybe it takes a couple of months before the demand here sets in 80 why is it even decreasing am i missing something guys so let's let's review all right let's review we have this train which is carrying livestock to the processing plant that's working we've seen it okay right and then uh, that drops off livestock here this creates food and puts that there accordingly so this truck actually should have wait a minute why the heck does it have livestock Do you see this, guys? Ah, all right. There, there is a conflict. All right. I, I think I know what's happening somewhat. 
it seems like the livestock from here is not not everything is being delivered to this plant some of them it says okay i have additional cows here go and take these cows to the first processing plant over here because you need cows right <laughs> now that's a bit derpy because uh, what you want is for all these trucks to only carry food we never want them to carry livestock because why carry livestock all the way there when you can produce it here when you can make food here so what we'll do is we will let all these guys head back to the depot crap some of them are going to the other depot some of them are going here I think okay and we'll say you can only carry food yeah and you as well carry only food right now that should lock it that should then close that window and that should then make all the livestock only go to this plant and produce food uh, accordingly ideally okay let's see where are the other trains uh trucks okay they're on their way One of them is here, one of them is there. Okay, right, they're right next to each other. Perfect. So these guys... Food only. Basically, we're saying, we're telling the AI, the game, to not be super smart or quote-unquote smart. Because it's making our chain much more complicated. Uh-huh. Truck Food North, where is it? Truck food north, there you go. Now everything is just food. Okay. Now the livestock isn't here anymore, so I'm expecting it was taken by one of our trains already. One of these trains. That's all good. But look at this. We have food in Abingdon 8 on this station. Question is, is that for the train or is that for the truck? Th this is the problem with an integrated um, station like this. You never know what which one is for. Okay, it looks like it's for the truck there. Actually, no, no, my mistake. You will see it because there's the it says there, truck Abingdon. My mistake. Yeah. Let's see. So this one is not carrying anything, but I'm expecting now food should be there. Yep. And all that livestock that you have is delivered here. Yep. Uh, look at that though. The potential is 42. It might be one of those uh, bugs where the <laughs> game has trouble with dealing with multiple sources. So it does see the demand over at the farm, over at the processing plant on this end, the first one. But it doesn't connect. Maybe it it sees the demand here and because it sees the demand already here that same demand isn't delivered anymore to this place so maybe it's not duplicating and if it does that then that means squat that means we will have trouble trying to move food from here crap that actually destroys our plan Hmm. What do you guys think? Let, let's let's leave it to sizzle a bit. Maybe maybe there's still a chance. Yeah. But yes, it might be one of those game limitations when it comes to multiple sources. If that happens, then we'll just have to ignore this completely. We'll just have to avoid having more than one um, source of of uh, goods either food, fuel, or anything. Like, this one works. We do have two fuel lines here. But that's because we separated them. Like, the, the two fuel lines aren't connected in any way. They don't share... They don't share um, demand, so to speak. One is catering only to the southern or the central part of the city or the country. The, this one is 
catering only to the nor northern part so maybe maybe that's what we should do i would hate to do it though because this is this looks so perfect but then again should we then just make it that hmm if we remove one stop here would that work same thinking if we make this processing plant only cater to the north and we make this processing plant cater only to the center then that means we'll have to remove this we'll have to remove this line connecting the processing plant to this city because everything from this city northwards will be responsibility of this processing plant over here yeah we might have to do that we might have to separate it because the game doesn't distinguish properly if you get what i mean if you have any other um if you have a better solution about it do let me know guys all right it would be interesting to figure out how that should work hmm. yeah we'll have to remove this one we'll have to those all these trains they will instead stop on this station and then maybe th they have a loop or something or actually they only need one station here they only need one platform here because they will be ending here and then they'll be just going going back up north so they won't anymore the food trains will no longer go here instead everything that's produced in this processing plant will be delivered by these trains going south going to the center we can make that work as well yeah that should be feasible too and that should lessen the load on this guy instead of having 6700 there it should only be around i don't know 3000 or 4000 for everywhere here in the center that's too bad though i was hoping that it would work perfectly anyway all right so one sec how should we do this if we see this yeah look at that 41 there's hardly anything getting produced there okay okay but at least we know now so i'll leave it there for now guys and then i'll let you guys comment and then i'll wait for your comments maybe you have ideas how to make it work if you don't, no problem, but comment away. Um, if I don't get any other ideas, uh, what I'll do is that just that. I'll remove this connection. I'll make all these uh, food trains to the north stop in this station instead. So it will be focusing on this processing plant. So processing plant here will supply everything from here up north. And then this other processing plant, our first one, will no longer provide food up north. It will all provide food in the center area which is which should be good as well shouldn't be a problem yeah anyway let me know what you think i'll leave it there for now thank you for watching guys hope you enjoyed this one and uh yeah there were still a couple of comments i don't not even sure how that works i remember like creating double slips here just to make it look cool and realistic but i'm not really sure how that works if i just do it something like that and crisscross it <laughs> i'm not sure and worst case it might affect the lines although i don't think so but yeah we can make it prettier as as soon as we when we get it working first All right anyway thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates anyway um thank you for watching and uh see you in the next one hopefully by the next episode my voice is a bit better and yes comment away thanks and bye bye Catch you in the next one.